Today, we will be showing you how to make a professional looking survey in Microsoft Word for scanning with Remark Office OMR. As you can see on the screen, we have the final result of today's tutorial, a restaurant satisfaction survey. And by the end of this video, you will know how to make a survey of your very own. The first thing we did was type a title along with some general information about the survey. Now we get to the important part, inserting a table to hold our questions. The trick here is to create enough rows and as many columns as we need for each question and answer choice. We are going to have eight questions and five answer choices. Clicking insert table and then insert table, we will define the table size to six columns and 10 rows. You may be asking yourself why six and 10? The extra rows allow us to add a label for each answer choice and a blank row to properly space out our form for scanning. This top row will include the labels for the answer choices often referred to as a Likert scale. We will label this sliding scale with our answer choices from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Next, it's time to create our fillable bubbles. For this agreement scale, we assign the value 5 to strongly agree opinion and 4, 3, 2, 1 for the other options. As you can see here, I'm using a special font called Remark OMR Bubbles. With Remark OMR Bubbles font, we can use the keyboard to enter the number we want to appear inside of the bubble. This is a font that you can install for free with Remark Office OMR and on our website. We will include the link to download the font in the video's description. Alternatively, you can use the capital O in Arial font. We can copy and paste the bubbles into the additional rows, then we'll add the questions. After our eight survey questions are written, we will focus on formatting the table to make the form scannable. First, we are going to highlight the scale and bubbles. Next, click Table Layout, and in the section labeled Alignment, click Align Center. Now the bubbles are in the center of their columns. After resizing the table so that our questions are more readable, we recommend evenly spacing out your Remark OMR bubbles and answer choices. We can do this by selecting our columns, right-clicking, and then clicking Distribute Columns Evenly. Then select the whole table and again right click and select distribute rows evenly. Lastly, we're going to remove the lines between the rows and columns by selecting the entire table, clicking design, and then selecting no borders. For this survey, we would also like to get some open-ended feedback from our respondents. We type a question asking the respondent if they have any additional comments. We will then insert a simple text box. In doing this, we can limit where they can write so that Remark has an easier time finding the comments. After resizing the box to our needs and removing the default text from the text box, click on Format, Shape Outline, and change the border from a line to a dashed line, then change the color to a light gray. By doing this, the text box will drop out during scanning. And there you go, you now have a completed form and the tools to create your own scannable forms for future use with Remark Office OMR. Please keep in mind that when scanning forms for Remark Office OMR, you always want to adhere to our form design best practices, which are available on our website. If you would like your design form checked for our best practices, you may email us a copy of your form for a free review. If you have forms to scan, contact the Remark team to learn more about Remark Office OMR. You can call or email us at sales at Visit our website at remarksoftware.com to get a free trial or see Remark in action. Thank you for watching. See you next time.